as we prepare ourselves to welcome this new day let us thank the lord for all that he has done for us let us thank him for the gift of life let us thank him for the graces that he has bestowed on us we thank him for giving us this new day with its opportunities with its challenges and with everything that this day will throw at us and as we enter this day we need to have this attitude of faith and trust in the lord that the lord will be there to guide and protect us just as he does always and therefore by beginning with a sense of gratitude is always something that lightens our heart and gives us hope and encouragement and so we thank the lord for protecting us and guarding us throughout the night we also thank him for being with us in our moments of trial in our moments of difficulties and challenges we thank him for the gift of our family members relatives friends near and dear ones and all those who help us in our lives and make a difference in our lives similarly we also pray for all those who are very instrumental in our lives and give us the support and motivation that we require in life we also thank the lord for giving us the opportunities we thank him for all those moments where we have learned something and we thank him for walking with us guiding us and protecting us throughout our life and as we begin to reflect on these things let us get in touch with our inner selves as we focus our attention on what is happening within us you may discover feelings of anxiety anger there may be certain emotions that may be quite spread in our hearts and mind and as we spend this time with the lord let us become aware of these emotions of these feelings let us get in touch with our inner selves and slowly let us offer these at the feet of the lord because it is only the lord who can take these broken things and make them beautiful at the same time we may also have a lot of prayers and petitions in our hearts and minds let us offer them as well to the lord and as we pray during this hour let us also pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them we remember all those who celebrate their birthdays and anniversaries today and we ask the lord to shower his abundant blessings on them and give them good health of mind and body similarly we also pray for those who are sick in hospital those who are suffering those who are undergoing a surgery and we ask the lord to be with them guide and protect them at the same time as we reflect on our lives as we reflect on the great things that the lord has done for us and as we recite the morning offering and the morning prayers let us offer ourselves to the lord and ask him to guide us and protect us let us pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen o jesus through the immaculate heart of mary i offer you my prayers works joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the mass 
throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the holy father amen let us pray for the intention of the pope for the month of july the elderly we pray for the elderly who represent the roots and memory of a people may their experience and wisdom help young people to look forward towards the future with hope and responsibility our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the act of contrition oh my god i am heartily sorry for having offended thee and i detest all my sins because of thy just punishments but most of all because they offend thee my god who art all good and deserving of all my love i firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin amen prayer to the holy spirit come holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth lord by the light of the holy spirit you have taught the hearts of your faithful in the same spirit help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation we ask this through christ our lord amen prayer for priests gracious and loving god we thank you for the gift of our priests through them we experience your presence in the sacraments help our priests to be strong in their vocation set their souls on fire with love for your people grant them the wisdom understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus inspire them with the vision of your kingdom give them the words they need to spread the gospel allow them to experience joy in their ministry help them to become instruments of your divine grace we ask this through jesus christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen the breastplate of saint patrick 
I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me, and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, Patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. 
prayer of thanksgiving god of all blessings source of all life giver of all grace we thank you for the gift of life for the breath that sustains life for the food of this earth that nurtures life for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life we thank you for the mystery of creation for the beauty that the eye can see for the joy that the ear may hear for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves we thank you for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming for friends who love us by choice for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen prayer to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning 
is now and ever shall be world without end amen litany to mary the loreto litany lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us god the father of heaven have mercy on us god the son redeemer of the world have mercy on us god the holy spirit have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us holy mary pray for us holy mother of god pray for us holy virgin of virgins pray for us mother of christ pray for us mother of the church pray for us mother of mercy pray for us mother of divine grace pray for us mother of hope pray for us mother most pure pray for us mother most chaste pray for us mother inviolate pray for us mother undefiled pray for us mother most amiable pray for us mother admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us virgin most renowned pray for us virgin most powerful pray for us virgin most merciful pray for us virgin most faithful pray for us mirror of justice pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us star of david pray for us star of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us 
queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen prayer to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defenders in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude pray for souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son Jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today. for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen my dear friends the readings of today invite us to prioritize our work All the three readings of today do mention an aspect of service but sometimes we see in our lives that we may get so much caught up with our work that we fail to give priority or importance to the small things in life and we see that these small things do matter a lot in our lives and therefore what is important is that we need to prioritize and balance out things in our life only a well balanced life will be one that is meaningful and fruitful similarly we see in today's first reading we have the hospitality of abraham now abraham sees three people coming he didn't know them but still he goes out of his way in order to be hospitable to them and also to make them feel comfortable in today's day with all the things that are happening 
it may be difficult for us to exactly replicate what Abraham did. But still we can do some things in order to show our hospitality and generosity towards others. Doesn't mean that we have to invite every stranger to our place. But certain random acts of kindness along the way as we go to our workplace or as we go for a walk to those whom we meet is plenty in order to fulfill this thing in life. Similarly, St. Paul, as he addresses the people of Colossia, tells that what he's doing is a kind of a service to the Lord by proclaiming the word of the Lord. And then in today's gospel passage, we have the classic example of Martha and Mary. And we see that Jesus says that Mary has chosen the better path. Now, does it mean that what Martha was doing was wrong? Or, or did Martha choose the wrong option? The answer is no. Martha didn't choose the wrong option. But at that particular point of time, you need to understand this situation. Supposing if you have invited a guest to your place and if you're busy preparing many things, you may give him the best of food. But if you do not spend time with the guest, whatever you have done will not have that kind of an effect. And therefore, this balancing is very important. Now, even if Mary had to go and be busy preparing all the things, Jesus would have been left unattended. And that is why we see that Mary chooses to be with Jesus and Martha chooses to do the things that she is doing. In a way, in life too, we are called to do various things. And therefore, by prioritizing things in life, by balancing things, we too can live a fruitful and meaningful life. And as we reflect on these readings, let us ask for this grace that we too may live a fruitful life wherein we are always generous, hospitable and serviceable towards those whom we meet on a day-to-day -day basis. Amen.